I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. Lectionary, Fun Word Friday. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, pass it on the faith to the next generation. Like our videos. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications. I went blank there for a second. Um, get the app. All of our content is streamed to mobile devices, Apple TV, and Roku. So go ahead and check it out. Just do a search for Higher Things Lutheran. It'll show up. Donate. Higher Things is an organization all about passing the faith to the next generation. We believe to, that we're here to support parents and pastors and youth leaders in passing on the faith to the next generation because we want our kids to believe more and, and, and stronger than we believe and be better Christians than we are. And so pass it on the faith to the next generation. That's what we're all about. Give today, link in the description, okay? So, um, hey buddy, want this? That was not an intentional throw. I was trying to get his attention to sort of prime the pump. Lectionary. I get asked oftentimes, you know, why are the readings that you do about, why are the readings that you do on Mondays different than the readings that we that I had on Sunday? Um, and that's because we might follow a different lectionary. Lection, lecto is book or to read. And a lectionary is a group of readings for set days on the calendar. Um, uh, this is uh, not only a Lutheran or a Catholic or a Christian thing. This also began with the J Jewish communities as well, um, in which they had set readings for set days. Um, there are actually two common lectionaries in the church right now, the historic one-year lectionary and the three-year lectionary. Now, each of them have their own giftedness, and there's no law which says you have to use a certain lectionary. So let's talk about each of them and talk about what advantages and disadvantages that each of them have. The historic lectionary is the one-year series. It has set dates for every day of the year. Um, you can tell that you're in um, the historic lectionary when Trinity is the season which continues on throughout the main half of the church here. Um, one half of, of both lectionaries is the festival season, which deals with all the big festivals in the church and also focuses us in on Christ and what he did for us. The other half of the church here is, is the life of faith in the church, the church here. Um, common time, it's also called, in which, um, in which we see what Jesus' death and resurrection and how that's lived out in the life of the church. Now, the historic one-year lectionary has the same readings every Sunday, and it just repeats itself. It, uh, the, the dates for Easter will change based upon the moon. Um, there he is. Um, because Good Friday and Easter are both uh, sort of set by the moon. But the other readings you can expect to have on each of the days of the church year, in the in Advent, you'll have the same readings every year. And the benefit of this is, one, it has been used in the church for a very long time. Um, so there is a, a sort of momentum about it. You can read um, the servers, the, the, um, the fathers, there he goes. You can read the fathers, different sermons on different texts and let there be devotionals. Um, this was the, the, um, this was the lectionary into the time of Luther. Um, a very good lectionary. I like it. It's what we use in higher things. It's what our devotions use. Um, it's a good lectionary. Um, and that repetition of readings is very, very helpful. If you sort of think that, 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 that folks that are unfamiliar with scripture or people that are going to church, um, who may not be in the word, there that repetition is very helpful. Repetition is the mother of learning. Um, the Latin is repetito studorum est. Uh, mater studorum est. Repetition is the mother of learning. So, um, so that's the one-year series. The three-year series comes from us from Rome in the 1960s, Vatican II. Its real name is Ordo Lectio Missi, the, um, the uh, election of the Mass. Um, it divides 
the years over the divides the readings over three years with a being Matthew B being Mark and C being Luke um, with John sprinkled in between the advantage to the three year series is that you get a greater diversity of the readings um, over the course of those three years. Um, you have more scripture in which you inhale if you're going every week, which do I prefer? Well, why don't you in the description give your opinion. I personally like the historicity of the one year series. I think we need a sort of structure and repetition. I like the fact that the same readings repeat every year. I've actually used both though. So you give your thoughts in the description about what you think, which one your church uses. Also, if you think that in higher things, we should provide uh, a day for the three year series. Think about it. Have a great day. I'm Pastor George Borkart. Now that Toro has his toy, it's time to leave. And this has been another Higher Things video short.